All right, picking up where we left off, question 22. If we're solving with, remember we can always graph these, you can always graph these, but if we're solving with um, elimination first, if we looked at that, um, first thing we would need to do is make two of these equal each other. So I'd go and look at negative 2 and positive 3, they can both become 6. If I times this by 3, I'd get 18x minus 6y equals 58 times 3, 4, 2, 15, 174. The bottom one I would then times by 2. So I'd get negative 4 times 2 is negative 8x plus 6y equals negative 42 times 2 is negative 84. Then we would add them together because this would give me 0y. 174 plus negative 84 would be 90. Um, 18x plus a negative 8 would be positive 10x. So we get 10x equals 90, divide by 10, and x would equal 9. Plug that back into one of these equations, negative 4 times 9 plus 3y equals negative 42. So that would be negative 36 plus 3y equals negative 42. Add 36. 3y equals um, negative 6 divide by 3 y would equal negative 2. So my answer, 9, negative 2. All right. Now, if I did substitution, I'd have to figure out which variable to solve for. The way i do that is look at this and say, can 3 go into 4? No. Can negative 4 go into 3? No. Can 6 go into 2? No. Can 2 go into 6? Yes. Can 2 go into 58? Yes. Boom. We're solving for that guy. So I'd subtract a 6x, giving me negative 2y equals 58 minus 6x, divide by negative 2, and I get y equals negative 26, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. 29. Plus 3x, which I would plug in for y, so I get negative 4x plus 3 times negative 29 plus 3x equals negative 42. Now we simplify. 3 times negative 29 would be negative 87 plus 9x because 3 times 3x would be 9. Add 87 to both sides. Okay, 87 plus a negative 42. And get us a positive 45. Negative 4x plus a 9x would give us a positive 5x. Divide by 5, and x would equal 9. Okay, which is what we already found out, right? Then we'd pick an equation, put 9 in for x, and solve. So that would be 54 minus 2y equals 58. Subtract 54. Negative 2y would equal... Um, 58 minus 54 would be 4, divide by negative 2, and y would equal negative 2. Okay? There we go with those ones. Now, these last three, because we already, we already did this one on the other video. Okay, so now we've got a story problem. So once again, we can solve it by graphing, we can solve it with elimination, we can solve it with substitution, doesn't really matter. Okay? We can do it either way. So, let's see how we make our equations. The starting salary at a pizzeria is nine an hour. The raise of 30 every six months. Starting salary at a burger shop is 750 an hour with a raise of 40 cents every six months. After how many months will the amount be the same? Okay, let's make some tables. So we started working and we made $9. Then six months went by so here's our first six month period. Okay. Or you could even go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we added 30 cents. So it'd be $9.30. Okay. So we could keep going like that and decide exactly how much every month, essentially, what kind of raise we have. I would probably prefer to uh, think of it. No, that's probably a better way for the end result. OK. 
okay? So, every month, how much are, would we be adding? Okay, well, this would be 9.15, right? So, 5 cents. So, we're adding 5 cents each time. So, an equation would be y equals our starting point 9 plus 0.5, not 0.50, 0 0.05, huh? 0 0.05 times x. Okay. Now the second one, same idea, but with 750. So we start at 750, and then every six months we earn 40 cents. So seven dollars and ninety. So how much would we be earning every month? Well, 30 divided by six is five. 40 divided by six is not quite the same, is it? I'd be like 0 0.07, okay? Actually, 0 0.066667. So that's where it can prove to be a little more difficult to think through it that way. Um, so maybe we should we should probably go back and do it the original way I was thinking. Those numbers will end up being a lot easier, okay? Instead, if we think of this as one six months two six months or a year, we'd get 790, we'd get 830, so we'd be adding that 40 cents every time. If we went it this way, same idea, we'd be adding 30, 930, 960, we're adding the 30 cents every time. So our equations would change slightly, but we'll end up with the same answer. Okay? So we get y equals 7.5 plus 0.4 x. Now we could graph it from this point and find where they intersect. Um, we could use substitution. This whole piece would substitute in for that. So I'd have 9 plus 0.3 x equals 7.5 plus 0.4 x. I would subtract 0.3 x. Give me 0.1 x. Subtract 7.9. Give me 1.5 equals 0.1 x divided by 0.1 we get x equals, so 1.5 divided by 0.1 would give us 15. Okay, so what does that mean? The x value of 15, now we could plug that back in and find out how much you'd be making at that point. We'd go, you know, 0.3 times 15 plus 9 would give us $13.50. Okay, this 15 represents how many groups of six months, okay? So basically we'd have to go 15 times six months to give us 90 months is how soon they would be earning the same amount, which if we divide that by 12 is, is about seven and a half years. Okay, so we could do it that way. We could also do elimination to solve this one. Like I said, or graphing. You just got to remember what the x's stand for. If we did elimination, um, we'd have to, the y's are the same, so we'd subtract 1y, 1y, 0y equals 1.5 minus 0.1x, add 0.1x, and you see we get the same thing. x equals 15, okay, which then we translate, times again by 6, to 90 months, all right, kind of a weird one, all right, let's look at number 24 now, 24 says a photographer sells large photos for $27 profit, and small photos for $11 profit, this past year she sold 126 photos and made a profit of 2,250, how many of each size did she sell, so let's call large x, and we'll call small y, so we've got to think of how we make two equations. Well, if we add x and y together, that should equal the total of 126 photos. If we deal with their cost, so it would be x would be 27 times x plus 11 times y, that would equal our profit. Okay. Then we could use substitution or elimination. 
I think substitution would be easier because I could just subtract x from both sides and get y equals 126 minus x. So I get 27x plus 11 times 126 minus, oops, minus x equals 2250. Actually, I think graphing would probably be the easiest way to do this, but that's just me. So I get 27x plus 1386 minus 11x, because I multiplied, equals 2250. 27 minus 11 would be 16x. Subtract 1386. 2250 minus 1386 gives us 864. Divide by 16. We get x equals 54. So, how many large ones did we sell? We sold 54. If we sold 54 large ones, we'd go 126 minus 54 to tell us that we sold 72 small ones. So as a coordinate, it'd be 54, 72. But according to the story, 54 large photos and 72 small photos. Okay, we could have also done elimination to solve this one. Or graphing. I keep saying that. Just so you know, you can all graph these. I just didn't think we needed to show you that. To do that, I'm going to have to get these to be the same. So I'd times everything by 11. That would be 1386. Then we'd say 11 and 11, we'd subtract. 11 minus 27 would be negative 16x plus 0y. 1386 minus 2250 would be negative 864. Negative 16x equals negative 864 divided by negative 16. We end up in the same boat. x equals 54. Take that, plug it back into an equation, and we'd get 72. There we go on that one. All right, now the last one. Tickets to the carnival cost $9 for adults and $7.50 for children. A group of 11 people went to the carnival and paid $87 for tickets. How many adult? How many children? Same concept. Let's call the adults x, y children. So between the adults and the children, we had 11 people. The cost was 87, and it was $9 for the adults, so each adult is times by 9. Kids, 7.5. Okay? Once again, we could do elimination to solve this, timesing the top by either 9 or by 7.5. I would prefer to do elimination or substitution, so we get x equals 11 minus y. So I go 9 times 11 minus y. 7.5y equals 87. So we get 99 because we distribute minus 9y plus 7.5y equals 87. Okay, so 99 minus 1.5y, right? Because 9, negative 9 plus 7.5 would be negative 1.5 equals 87. Subtract 99. Negative 1.5y equals 87 minus 99, so negative 12. Divide by negative 1.5, and we get what y is equal to. So divided by 1.5, negative 1.5, so we get a positive 8. So y stands for children's tickets, so we sold 8 children's tickets. We sold 8 children's tickets, 11 minus 8 would mean we sold 3 adult tickets. Okay, there we go with that guys. So uh, hopefully you are ready for that test and you can do well on it. Um, hopefully we saw how to do stuff and you remember how to graph it in case you prefer doing the graphing. But there we go.